This video will show you how to man in the middle traffic to and from your device over HTTP and HTTPS. We'll be using Charles Proxy, but the same steps work for other proxies. First, let's set up the device to send all its traffic to the machine that's running Charles. Charles will then show us the contents of the request, it will send the request along to its original destination, it will receive the response, it will show us its contents and it will send the response back to the device. An app will think there's nothing out of the ordinary going on, unless it's employing some clever workarounds, which we'll get to in a minute. So, first we need the IP address that Charles is running on. We can get that under Help, then SSL Proxying, then Install Charles Root Certificate on Mobile Device or Remote Browser. On the device, in the extended Wi-Fi settings, we'll tap and hold over our Wi-Fi connection. Then we'll go to Advanced Options, set up a manual proxy and enter the IP and port. The VP and Apps option will redirect all traffic to that IP where Charles is listening. Now, if we start an app, for example Uber, we can see all of its traffic. But the HTTPS traffic is gibberish because it's encrypted. However, HTTPS only encrypts traffic in transit. It relies on certificate authorities to sign the certificates that the client and server will trust. And these are usually baked into your browser. On Android, they're baked straight into the OS. So, if we have control over the device, we can make it trust extra authorities, such as ours. We first need to enable SSL proxying in Charles, so that it will act as a certificate authority. In proxy, then SSL proxying settings, we want SSL proxying enabled. Then we also have to add the hosts for which we want to do that. Asterisk.asterisk Asterisk will enable it for all domains. If we now restart Uber, it will resend its requests, but this time around the proxy will try to decrypt them. We still can't read the contents of them though. Charles is now acting as a certificate authority, but the device doesn't trust that authority. So, we now need to install the Charles root certificate. In the same window we went to to find the IP address, there's also a web address. All we need to do is visit it and we'll be installing the certificate on our device. And of course, you're effectively compromising anything that uses HTTPS by doing that. So, don't do it in the phone you normally use. Okay, and now we're able to read the contents of the HTTPS traffic. But why can't we read the request to the Uber servers? It's the app doing that clever stuff we mentioned earlier. Its connections are pinned to the Uber server certificate. So before the app makes a request, it gets Uber's server certificate and then it only trusts connections to a server that can prove, on its own, that it is that particular server. So. The Uber app doesn't rely on a certificate authority to sign certificates between the client and server. It only trusts a certificate that is signed by that server. And our Charles certificate authority isn't the Uber server. This is known as certificate pinning, and it's a great security measure that can prevent many types of attacks on users and servers. But if you have access to the device on which the app is running, it's easy to circumvent. In the next video, we'll do just that by installing the exposed framework and an unpinning module over it.